Morning, everybody. Did you guys see this news story about how a member of the Brewers organization was uncovered to be an assassin? I gotta say, I wish the Yankees had this kind of killer instinct. Hey, Eric. Frank from California. Love your program. And um, I'm not sick of anything, but I'm maybe a little disappointed with all the uh, the boo birds. I mean, all these comments, Yanks this, um, home sucks, blah, blah, blah. The Yankees had the best record in baseball. Lewis Gill's going on the hill tomorrow. We're a game and a half up. Every every game counts, I realize that. And we just got to just start being a little more uh, pro-positive here. How's it going, man? I understand the desire for positivity and the desire to see fans be positive about their team. But right now, the Yankees' bullpen is awful. And Jose Trevino can't throw anybody out behind the plate. Clay Holmes can't be trusted in a close game. He's had about three or four clunkers in the last month. The Yankees have some serious problems that they need to address. They've got the best record in baseball because their starting pitching went on a historical streak at the same time that Judge and Soto were both having MVP caliber months. We simply can't count on that all the time, and it's becoming more and more evident every day that the Yankees need to address this bullpen or they're not going to be in first place anymore. That's just how it's going to be. Hey, Derek, it's Nick. Uh, I want to start off with something that's really bothering me over the last several games. The Yankees pitchers, it's long overdue they employ the slide step. This is something you're taught from little league or high school onwards. So uh, it's just ridiculous that these guys are not employing a slide step to make it quicker to the plate. Um, you know, a full leg kick like that is just way too long. Trevino's arm is also just not strong anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Um, no zip on his throws. Saw an airmail one today. And, uh, yeah, not good. Um, Canely might be a naked mole rat by the end of the time we're through with him, though. This guy uh, is ERA is bad right now, still no saves. So uh, we need some of the bullpen to step up, step it up. I give it to you, Clay Holmes can't control that thinker most of the time. Doesn't even throw a four seam anymore, and uh, his command just gets off for weeks at a time. And uh, you know we can't have that be in the playoffs. So. I hope we trade for a good bullpen arm, someone who's a flamethrower, like you say. And, uh, yeah, we need the Yankees to get right. Hopefully Judge gets healthy. And uh, we'll see how many more batters get plunked in this series tomorrow. One thing the Yankees' bullpen did well was they drilled Colton Kowser and Gunnar Henderson. Look, uh, the pen is extremely weak right now. This is going to be the theme of the episode. We've got a lot of calls about this. I mean, there's just nobody down there who strikes guys out consistently. That's what every world champion has. you got to have somebody in the bullpen who blows guys away. And if that means you got to go back out and get Araldus Chapman even, then you do that. I don't like Araldus Chapman, but at least he strikes guys out. You know, he's wild. You know, David Robertson from the... Uh, Texas Rangers, he's 39 years old. The Rangers are not having a good year. Their offense is is trash. You know, maybe we can get David Robertson back. Got to be creative here if you're Brian Cashman. You can't keep running out the same garbage and just hope it improves because it's probably not going to. I think that Jose Trevino has, like, the worst arm in baseball. It's definitely not good. And his pop time is slow. They mentioned last night on the broadcast he's got a little bit of a hitch. And then Kratz last night, uh, you know, he's obviously going to defend the catchers. He's a catcher. He said that uh, the Yankees pitchers could be a little bit quicker to the plate. That's probably true, too. You know, we had the call about the slide step being used. There's a lot of factors leading into this right now. And there are ways that the Yankees can improve this, whether it's controlling the running game better with the pitching you know, throwing over, slide step, you know, uh, occasional pitch outs. But a lot of it's going to come down to Trevino. And if he can't get it together, Austin Wells is going to start getting more reps because at least Austin Wells has pretty good pop time. Listen, I told you eight weeks ago, 
we will never win a championship with, with Holmes as the closer. I know you responded as, hey, you never know how you're going to say that. You could tell by his face. He has no confidence. The guy's ball, when, when he's wild, he's really wild. And even the saves he has, he gives up um, one to two runs. It's never a clean save. This man will never, never get us a championship. The Yankees need to jump on this right away. That game we lost yesterday was so bad. The only thing he needed to do was have one clean inning. I'll admit my patience with Clay Holmes was probably a little bit more lenient than it should have been, but I'm I'm coming around to your side, man. Look, just too much contact. We've got to get more strikeouts down there. And especially when you can't throw guys out if they reach base, you've got to do a better job at run prevention late in the game. I think you're 100% right. You can't win in the playoffs with that setup because so many games in the postseason are decided late. And right now, the Yankees don't have any shutdown relievers in the bullpen. They need to go out and do what it takes to go out and get some arms. If that means trading some prospects, that means trading some prospects. Hi, Derek. This is Dennis again from Pennsylvania. Uh, the Yankees are never going to make it with Boone as a manager. That's all I can say. They have a great team. A lot of good players, but they have no leadership. Again, I don't know about never with Aaron Boone. I think the players will dictate the championship. However, there have been a lot of questionable decisions from Boone over the last few years, and even last night, pinch-hitting Jamai Jones instead of Oswaldo Cabrera. I don't get it. I don't get it. But uh, I, I, I understand the frustration there's a lot of people that are just ticked off right now because the Yankees blew a close game to the Orioles. But if you come out and you win today, that changes the whole feeling around the team. And you'll take a series from the Orioles. you got Luis Heal on the mound today. He shut down the Orioles last time he faced them. He has not been as strong the last couple of times out. I think he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. But if you can win today, you at least send a message to the Orioles. But if you lose today, I think the Orioles send a message to you because they have won now three out of four in Baltimore, and that would be two out of three at Yankee Stadium, and they would regain the division lead. So this is a very, very important game. Hey, Derek. It's Connor from New Jersey calling again. Love your show. Just saw that game. It was a thriller. So pissed that the Orioles won, though, again, because of Clay Holmes. Have to get a new closer, man. Who do you think are the best options to get? I know you've talked about them a little bit, but... Oh, just so distraught about that loss because it really was a game we should have won. Garrett Crochet, Tanner Scott, Michael Kopech, maybe David Robertson, probably not Mason Miller, even though you know he's he's obviously got lights out stuff. The issue is that the asking price for him is just going to wipe out your farm system, and I'm not convinced that his elbow is going to basically stay together in one piece. So I'd, I'd be a little bit tentative to trade top prospects for a guy who's a ticking time bomb. But if you can get him for a reasonable price, which you can't, um, then that's the move. But look, there's a lot of guys out there that Brian Cashman should be looking at. And every day that goes by without a solid strikeout guy in that bullpen is another chance that you're going to blow a game late because there's too many runners on base. There's too much contact late in the game. And when Judge and Soto or whoever are out of the lineup, you're just not creating that separation. When you're not getting that great starting pitching, you're not creating that, I guess, room for error for the bullpen, and they're going to implode. And I have zero confidence right now in Clay Holmes. Hey, uh, Derek, this is Tom from uh, Barefoot Bay, Florida. Yeah, I'm just calling. I had made a comment about uh, – Clay Holmes, that he makes you nervous with the body language. I agree. He almost looked like he's hyper, almost spastic, and he seems to rush. And, yeah, I'm not comfortable uh, with him either when he comes up. Yeah, you can really tell a lot about a pitcher by their body language. And Clay Holmes does not inspire confidence with the way he carries himself on the mound. We had another commenter that used the word, Mound presence, actually the words, 
mound presence. And I think that's applicable. He doesn't have a great mound presence. He's got great stuff, got a great sinker, but he doesn't inspire that, you know, ruthless killer that you want as a closer. All right, we'll see you after the game. Luis Heal on the mound as the Yankees try to take two out of three from Baltimore. I'll see you around you know, 6.45, 7 o'clock. Catch you next time. Oh.